Lights out at Zandvoort for Formula 3 and it's a good reaction time for Logan Sargent who's going to get the lead from P2. He'll turn it into P1 as we go into Zandvoort's first turn, Tarzan. And then all the way around the outside goes Arthur Leclerc. So it's third to first. It was a good reaction time for Sargent, but then it was Leclerc who just took more speed as they go through and Smolia trying to get past and he's made contact with the pole sitter. Round goes Cordill. Can he keep his foot in? The different lines converging. It's Leclerc, then Sargent, and then in third place, you've got uh, them racing side by side in the background. Dramatic moment then to send Cordill off the road, but Arthur Leclerc turning third into first, but Sargent trying to come back as they balance this risk and reward, and the Prima has the lead ahead of the Charus, but it looks like we've got a contest on here. Absolute nightmare for Cordill. Smolia risk one down the inside, just washed up the banking, just caught the left rear tyre, but they're raging now through the middle sector. Beautiful move off the start from Arthur Leclerc, and here comes Hauger then, down the outside into turn number 11. He's racing Victor Martins for eighth position. What a gain of places he's had nearly off in the road. Yes, off the road goes uh, one of the HWAs, not the only one. Can they rejoin safely? We're getting the scrappy opening lap of the race that we expected. And I think that was Rasmussen returning to the road along with one of the Jensers. Absolutely frantic stuff. Here's that contact between Smolia and Cordille. Smolia was the one who went low and then just catching the rear left tire of Cordille. That was always likely to happen on the opening lap. And you've got stop go penalty for Alexander Smolia. That is for causing a collision. So there cannot be any uh, changes to the car in the first 10 seconds as he sits there. Battle for the lead between Leclerc and Sargent. Oh, lock up for Leclerc. Will it send him wide? No, he manages to make the corner. And Leclerc hanging on to the lead. But let's underline that, hanging on. Shows me they're absolutely on the limit of temperature for those front tyres. That high, wide line taken by both drivers this time through turn number three. And the, the wind having a real effect on the DRS zone. And that is how Schumacher lost his places. He was contending to try and move up to 11th against Lorenzo Colombo. Here comes Cordwell, laid on the brakes. Does he make the corner? OK, that's, that's really interesting to see that finally we've seen a move to the inside there. Is he going to risk it? Got to think about the championship. Will he go around the outside of turn 12? That is dangerous. That is why into the gravel. He's going to lose a couple of positions. Hauger was prepared to go for it. And look what happens if you can't complete the move. He was looking for seventh place. He was momentarily down to ninth. And he will reclaim heart in his mouth, I imagine. Side by side on the banking at Zandvoort with Novelak going to the inside. They'll race this one on to the main straight. That's the first time that we've seen that all the way through. Foot to the floor, 10 laps to go. Who gets the position here? It's vital for the championship. Will he leave Novelak room? He's got no choice. And he could have been seventh. It's down to ninth for Hauger. Hauger goes for one move down the outside of the chicane, just finds absolutely no grip away from the kerb, brings a beach back on track and is then forced to, uh, is then forced to defend down the front straight, gets wide again, nightmare, couple of corners. He'll have to put his head back together now. Hoggard into the wall. So that is the exit of turn number one. Jonathan Hoggard, Jenza has found the arm coat. And we've got another car off. That's Hunter Yaney who, yes, it is Hunter Yaney who is off and he's gone as well. Not a surprise to see the safety car out on track. Let's check in on what happened with this one then. Hoggard is car 27, he's racing Yaney. They are side by side and the inevitable happening on the exit of the corner. That's how Jonathan Hoggard found the wall. We are racing once again and he's trying to break the toe as we snake our way down to Tarzan with the race victory on the line. Can they make the corner at the start? Wide moment for the top two. They'll both make it in there. Sergeant under pressure a little bit from Awasa. Can he stick a wheel to the inside of two? Is he prepared to risk it? Locking up, contending. They're slightly wide on the marbles. Now here's the opportunity for Crawford to dive down the inside of his teammate. Pass or be passed. And it's frantic stuff once again. And just about hanging on there, Awasa. But he was under huge pressure. Meanwhile, whilst that all goes on exactly the restart lap that Arthur Leclerc wanted. Side by side, will he risk one down the inside this time? 
What sort of grip has he got? Can he get the corner done? Hauger trying to improve his position. He lost a place before. Hauger up to eighth, trying to turn it into seventh. Remember, he dropped out to ninth and he'll get the corner, surely. Yeah, up to seventh he goes. Can he keep it on the road? Oh, there's nothing between them, but finally he's ahead. Hauger up to P7. Arthur Leclerc for the second time this season will see the checkered flag first and he wins at Zandvoort. Sargent is second, Awasa is in third to return to the podium, do and beat his championship rival Hauger, but Hauger put key moves in to minimize that damage. Yes! Bravo! Bravo! What did I do? Yes! Woohoo! What a race! It's been an entertaining Formula 3 race, even if it has been tough to pass. I think a uh, you know, real element of interest given by the, the layout here. And uh, Arthur Leclerc has certainly had to work for that victory, no doubt about it. He ticked every other box today. As soon as he got to turn one from third up to first position, the championship battle continues, but it was a good result in the end for Hauger up against Jack Doohan and join us later on for race two when FIA Formula 3 returns.